Ever considered different housing possibilities? Sometimes it can be difficult deciding whether or not residential living is the right fit for your adult child. For Bobby Leonard, he experiences the best of two worlds as he has the opportunity to be in a group home setting during the week and heads home on the weekends to be with his parents, Art and Monica. In this following interview, we will be hearing from Bobby's father, Art, and also from Ali, Bobby's group home program coordinator, as they talk about this unique two-home living situation and how it has worked for Bobby. Uh, my name's Art Leonard, and uh, I'm Bob's dad, and uh, we've lived here for uh, over 25 years and had Bob in the group home uh, for over 25 years now. We were really skeptical about putting Bob in a group home. And that transition, at the same time, he was about 14 years old, so we were making the adult transition at the same time. And <clears throat> we, uh, we really didn't know whether it was the right thing to do. And uh, over even the first couple of years, we were um, glad to have the help, but we weren't sure that it was helping or wasn't doing anything really that well. And over the years, it's been a trial and error approach. And uh, we've worked out a system that uh, is best for at home and at the group home. Our biggest problem was uh, uh, we felt guilty about it, that we uh, almost felt like we were dropping a puppy off at the pound or something when the first night that we took him up there, my wife couldn't go. Transition was made easier because of the people that were managing the group home at the time. They made the transition easy for Bob and for us. And uh, it took a while. It took a few years before we uh, were comfortable uh, with leaving Bob at the group home. It wasn't something that we uh, worked through overnight. And go to the goes and go in the gym, go in the malls, and look at watches and stuff. Exercise in the group home or in the gym. I play basketball. I'm Ali Al Maliki. I work at CTA as a program coordinator. I also in charge of designing development programs, which means uh, programs for the skill the boys need to learn, whether social or living skills of programs. Uh, the boys at this specific group home been with us since they were 13 or 14. And now they're, you know, 37, 38. For Bob specifically, uh, he does not go to the day program because he's able to maintain employment, to get employment. Clean all the rooms and stuff, to clean the furnace and stuff. You're gonna you change the air fresheners on Wednesday. Uh, his AM routine, pretty much um, just taking his medications and then having breakfast and then getting ready to go to work, which is around 10 o'clock to around noon. Then he comes and have lunch. And then he relaxes for a while and then he resumes his uh, afternoon activities is very much consists of uh, physical exercise. He goes to the gym and um, or he goes out in the community. He likes to go to stores and, and buy items he likes. The structure that, uh, that the group home offers is something that we can't give him at home. Um, it's just too big of a job. The environment at the group home is different than the, uh, the environment at, at the parents' house and simply because the group home is more structured uh, than, than, than the family. Some of them ask us uh, for consistency, so they ask for programs and behavioral support. We provide them with the behavioral plan and the programs we run, and we see consistency. And some of them, it's just like a break from the routine of the group home. So they get to do whatever they please with the parents. Staff member does that. Okay. Corn dogs and sandwich and stuff. I made a burrito. Bean and, bean and cheese. I have, I have 10 watches. Bob was five years old and then you did collecting them. Good. You like school buses. And I run around the Alpine bus. They're going to activities. 
going to the planter term and all that stuff. We uh, keep in close contact with Ollie and everybody that we know what's going on every week at the group home. Bounce back and forth, you know, we, uh, we let each other know what's going on and that's really the only way that it works. Bob uh, draws a very distinct line between home and the group home. Go home on the weekends to Art Monica's house. Go to Smith's, Walmart, and take a nap. He has two families. Uh, he has his group home family and uh, the one at home. For more information on any of the topics discussed or to find resources in your area, please contact the Utah Parent Center at 801-272-1051 or our toll-free number is 1-800-468-1160 or visit our website at www.utahparentcenter.org.